What's happening, Ginger Ninja? One had it going on oats. First crack at it. Oh, there's clouds around, but what's new? Having a bit of a go at the canola. First day today, just been going an hour or so. So we had a little bit of a go on the oats and then switched over to canola and I think it's, uh, the rain has been eluding us a little bit today. So touch wood, no, we don't have any. But we had a thunderstorm go across the bottom end of this paddock, so. We can't go any further than that, really. Been turning around here, or Dad went down the hill. Bro. And we're not running a bin because we don't want to compact the ground too bad, so we're. Uh, oh, it's pretty awesome. There's Dad on the 8090, and the rain's just dipped south of us. We did have 90% chance of 10 to 20 mils today, I think. Later on we will get wet again, but we are trying to, now it's down to just 9, oh well it says 12.1% but I think it's a bit less, more like 10 or 9% moisture, so yeah, we're going because we've got a lot of canola to do and we haven't done any of it and most years we would already be finished canola and this is our what third lap so I was 750 hectares to do so 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 oh struggling what's that is the moisture meter working all right on that well it says 12.1 percent yeah not that high but uh, you can just keep going up the other end if it's speeding in all right so Alright, change of plans. I'm going to try this puppy down to the end. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm just going to watch this moisture meter and when it goes, oh, it's already up to 13 and a half. We're at 12.1 just a minute ago. I think I'm going to try it shut it down if we get to 14. Alright. I'm small almost. Oh, back down to uh, 13.2. But here she comes, I think that if we get under that storm right, maybe you can see the rain right there and there, there's a thunderstorm. So if that comes here, we're definitely gonna have to shut it down. Hopefully this blue sky just hovers above us, keeping us holy, safe from Safe from the thunderstorms, the big scary ones, because we don't want them. Bust some harvesting out and actually get this thing moving. Get this show on the road. Yeah, we're not running the bin because um, it's so wet that the head is back in the ground enough we don't want to wreck our paddock. So, I mean, we're going that slow anyway that because it's so tough and green that we don't need a bin. And then we'll just let it dry out. It's gonna rain almost certainly, they think, they say. The weather forecast says, so we'll just wait. And then two more days, and then we, it looks like we have about seven days of hot, dry weather, so we'll get into it then. This is a canola pickup front. The canola's been windrowed. And uh, this front feeds the canola in off the ground. We windrow it because we can get our canola off first. It's the first crop we harvest because you windrow it around the 15th to 20th of 
of uh, October and then seven to ten days after that you're supposed to be able to harvest it so we can if it's dry and if it's rained like it has every day for us then you can't and it's already been uh, 14 days or something so yeah and there's a opportunity to make you know higher to get higher profits if you the earlier you get your canola off so and it's a headache so a bit more of a headache to direct head than to pick up front the pick up front's pretty easy so when you wind road it and when we wind row we spray at the same time so there's no weeds so we don't have to worry about that for one thing but of course after all this rain we've been getting we're gonna have to spray everything again after after harvest Eleven model, so obviously not brand new. We had we bought this had a one year old when it was yeah in 2012 I think had done one harvest. We're unloading at ramming speed, flat out. We can have a look. That's really good. Off her back. <laughs> there, Gavin. Yep. You want to come up here? Yeah, I'll come here. 